Good morning and welcome to Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. And today we'll be reading out of the book of Job again. And today's devotion is titled, The Eventual Reward of Job. So if you all remember from yesterday, uh, Job had a rough life. He really struggled. But now we're going to learn about the reward of Job. So we're reading out of Job 42, verse 12. And it reads, So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she-asses. The Lord blessed Job more at the end than the beginning. We can see that in the end, Job was not only restored, but God gave him twice what he had when our story started. Job ended his long days prosperous and happy. First, we need to understand that while God blesses obedience, he makes no promises that obedience will result in temporal blessings. God does what God does for his own reasons. If we obey through the trials, even when the trials result in the loss of earthly treasures, we may not find physical relief from them. We may, but we may not. Job did, but that is not God's promise at all. During all the horrible things that befell him, Job had no promise or even indication that his restoration would be a physical one. Job obeyed and stood fast, even while understanding that the rest of his existence might be one of deprivation, sickness, and loss. Job had his eye on the prize coming at the end. This should be our example to follow as life beats us down. Sometimes that is what things will be. In Matthew 6.20 it reads, and we are told to lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Thing can, things can be tough in this life, and we are not promised ever that they will not be. We also need to keep our eyes on the prize before us, and our heavenly treasures will be never ending. And our final thought reads, many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. And this is from the song, I Know Who Holds Tomorrow. There are rich people, there are poor people, and there's a whole lot of people in between. And the Bible doesn't distinguish between them in a spiritual sense. Physically, yes, some people have more than others. But ultimately, those who have riches on earth will lose them and go to heaven. Those who have no riches on earth will go to heaven and gain riches. So in the end, it all equals out. We're all equal in God's eyes. Now, in a physical sense, we may not be equal when it comes to financial status, political status, educational status, whatever it may be. Uh, some of us have bodies made for football, and some of us have bodies made for golf, you know. But internally, our soul, our spirits, have the opportunity to be equal. Because God created us all equal. And God created us to eventually become an eternal being. That's our ultimate goal that God had set up for us, is to be eternal. But due to depravity and sin, mankind brought sin in the world and made our existence on earth temporal. So, but this lesson about Job says that there is redemption in the end. And we may not see it on this side of heaven. But if you stand through the trials, if you fight through and pers persevere and don't give up, take the hits, take the hits. In fact, the Bible even tells us the greatest reward you'll ever be given is if you actually are persecuted on earth for Jesus' sake. If you, if you were to give your life for Jesus... If, if it came down to accept another god or another religion or lose your head, I'd be the first in line to say, I, I'm going with Jesus Christ. T take my head off if you need to. Because the reward for that is greater than anything. But some people do get rewarded here on earth, and that's fine. 
Some people get their rewards after earth. But Job was a perfect example that he had every earthly reason to give up on God. He lost everything he had. In fact, his wife was saying, you know what? Just curse God and die. That's how miserable he was. She got tired of putting up with him. And I don't blame her because he was not a happy camper. And she was just flat out saying, give up, curse God, and die. But of course, that's always the wrong thing. You never, ever curse God. Job persevered. He hung in there. He didn't abandon God. He didn't blame God. He praised God. He loved God. And God rewarded him to the, to the point where he actually gained double than what he had lost. So uh, I just I hope this devotion is an encouragement to you in that de de no matter what circumstances you might be going through today, if it's a trial, if it's if it's a heartache, if it's if you've just suffered a loss, it's okay. Because God has greater rewards for you. We as Christians, we're not laying up our treasures here on earth. We're laying up our treasures in heaven. And you know, any if you want to use the analogy of I like to talk about this, the military, if you want to be a good soldier, you don't just get accepted into the army and they give you your rifle and say, now go. No, you don't get the rewards of being a soldier right off the bat. You've got to go through boot camp. You've got to be trained. You've got to be beaten down, which is what they do. And they break them down to their core. But then they build them back up in the image of a soldier. So whenever you feel beaten down in life, turn to God and say, God, I'm taking this beating. I'm dealing with this trial right now in my life. It's not fun. It's painful. It's stressful. God's like, it's okay. I'm with you. Get through this. Let that situation beat you down to where you turn to God. And then at that point, God will build you up in the image of a saint. And God will give you the spiritual rewards and make you a better Christian. You'll have a better relationship with Him. So, again, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, devotion. If you know somebody that's struggling, let this devotion be something that you can share with them. And maybe boost their morale a little bit. Give them something to hope for and to long for. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.